Hello YouTube, this is Undeads93, coming back with um, part number 26. Uh, sorry I had to pause it, or stop it, right in the middle of stuff. I got interrupted, if you heard. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah. That happened. So, um... Yeah, I'm still kind of ranting on about Hugo Zexel. Mm, I do like how they still go with the <laughs> same gimmick that 5Ds went with. How, like, in 5Ds, all, um, synchro monsters were CGI. And now in this series, all X, uh, XYZ monsters, I'm guessing what they're called. I'm just going to call rank monsters. That's what their new levels things are. Yeah, it doesn't make no sense to me, but... Um... Let's see. Uh, yeah. So, uh, let's see. Quit the timer back again. There we go. So, yeah. Um... I quite enjoy the CGI work on the monsters. Well, it, the animation's done well. You know, compared to most other Geo series. They're pretty much on the same par, in my opinion, as 5Ds, which 5Ds had pretty good animation. Um, let's go heal up real quick. Uh, let's see. But also, sorry about having it that quickly. Some have it. So, that's out of the way, so. This part, yeah. So, yeah. Um, so, uh, let me kind of go over my review schedule for this week. I will be having my, uh, my review for this week, uh, being done by somebody else. Um, and like a, well, you have to just see who it is, but... Um, it would be quite interesting. Um, but the anime, uh, the anime is, it, it, it's okay. It's not necessarily one of my favorite animes, but it, I'll have that anime reviewer kind of review the more strangeness of animes that I've seen. So, yeah. Um. Then you have more parts of these, and then uh, also be recording part one of Katawa Shoujo thing today. I'll probably just be going with a 30 minute episode for that one. So, um, so I can get the groundworks of how long these videos will need to be, since it's a very long game. Now, I mean a very long game. I mean, if you're going to play it, on a casual face, you'll probably be playing the game for probably like a couple months. But other than that, yeah. Oh no, try attack. That's not good. That would actually be an interesting thing if they ever introduce like double or triple like type attacks. Make like try attack an ice, electric, and fire attack. I think it would be deadly. Especially if you're a bird Pokemon. <laughs> like, try attack. Bam! Except it wouldn't work on my Graveler, since it's part electric type. And it, actually, it would completely suck against my Graveler. So, yeah. Um, uh, I like ranting about stuff, though. Um, I do miss uh, Duel Masters. I wish that show kind of still existed. I think in Japan it now. I think in Japan it probably got switched over to Kaijudo. Uh, Duel Masters, you had to die. It was just it was a really interesting game because uh, I didn't know what magic was, and I was still playing Yu-Gi-Oh. It pretty much is essentially is if you take those two games and use them together in a sense. 
Which, in my opinion, worked off quite well, because you have all that very interesting artwork of the creatures, because none of them got, like, super cartoony from, like, most of the, uh... Like, it kind of took, like, a serious approach to most of its artwork. I think, like, now with all of its artwork, pretty much, except... Yeah, all of its artwork is pretty serious, in a sense. Um, kind of like how what Magic does, I think. But I don't play Magic, so I wouldn't know. So, yeah. If you could, if any people who watch these videos that do play Magic and s or any other, well, Magic, like, type in the comments below, like, yeah, the game has a lot of serious artwork and doesn't have a lot of non-serious artwork or something like that, that would be good. But I don't really, I tried playing Magic once, and it was, it was a very interesting game, it just wasn't my kind of game. Uh, it was mainly just for the reasoning that uh, there were a lot of really weird rules. Uh, it's kind of like you had like rules for rules. Uh, you did have that in Duel Masters, but um, they were kind of limited in a sense. So, yeah. Because the main rules you had mainly either revolved around your sh around your shields, which are pretty much like kind of like your life points in a sense. Yeah, I'm kind of <laughs> explaining Duel Masters. Uh, I like that card game. Um, so it pretty much was like a combination of Duel Masters. Uh, I'm never starting to repeat myself. So pretty much you had to like protect your shields with your monsters, which <laughs> you had your blocker monsters, um, which with the deck that I ran, well, the deck I still have, because I never actually played this thing like professionally or, well, like, I mainly just played it for fun, but I really hadn't anybody who played it. So I just made like my own decks out of like other cards I had, which was kind of fun. Like, super sad, too, but... Eh, whatever. Um, mainly my deck <laughs> took... Uh, light and dark monsters and kind of used them together. Since pretty much light monsters in the game were pretty much the definitive... Like... Blocking type of monsters in the game. Well, them and water monsters. Which I quite enjoyed. And then you had the the dark monsters, which definitively tried to pretty much screw over your opponent whenever they wanted to. And I hate this frickin' gloom. Uh, it's Rain King. That's one thing I hate in these games. It's like, hey, you have a static condition. It's most likely gonna continue to bite your ass. Uh, sorry for my language, but yeah, I hate when that happens. I know it's supposed to make the game more difficult, but I kind of hate when games just like to chomp into you continuously. Uh, let's see, is there actually anybody else? Nope. Okay, we'll just use King then. Bam! Take that, Oddish. And figures it hits on the first frickin' move. Either that or like sleep powder in this gen has like a hundred percent accuracy. Which if it does, I'm calling bull crap on that. And there goes down our defense even more, even though <laughs> acid will probably still do the same amount. Uh I tried playing the Pokemon TCG when I was a kid. And it wasn't really my kind of beans. I mostly just collected the cards for a while. Um, I don't collect the new cards because there's not much point. I mainly just collected the cards when I was a kid. Mainly, yeah, because there was, <laughs> when I grew up, there were kind of like no one to play most stuff with. Unless you're going to like play like video games, you could like invite friends over. The only thing is, 
back in those days, never invite friends to play Barrio Party. It always ends out horribly. Maybe like, hey, what? Well, Mario Party is pretty much the definitive like friend breaker of games. No crap. Uh, playing Mar yeah, playing Mario Party pretty much you'll if you have friends. If you don't kill each other by the end of that night, you'll probably never talk to each other again. Either that, or you probably won't talk to each other for a while. So let's continue. I know that these episodes have been lackluster, both these two, uh, 25 and 26, because they're mainly just me kind of just battling trainers to uh, up my team's levels since. Since the next gym pretty much has Pokemon that I pretty much outdo this team pretty well. Uh, let's see, I faced her. Hey, this chick. Hello. So, yeah. I quite enjoyed playing cards when I was a kid. Um, it's a Bulbasaur. It's gonna use sleep powder, I could frickin' call it. Is it gonna use sleep powder? Let's see. I was right. And it hits on the first move. What do you call? Bullshit. Ha, huh, now you miss. Now kill it, Pidgeotto. Elios. Bye bye. I probably should go into a bit more depth with Katawa Sojo. Um other than what I did in my first impressions, as that kind of just gave you first impressions. Um, it's a very interesting game. I think I gave that my first impressions. Um, pretty much, uh, as you play the game, you get more involved into the characters that you're following. Which I do think it's quite interesting that it does that, since um, it kind of 